Hello everyone, and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today it's one of my replays, and I'm in the Hanover at tier 11 German battleship. I'm on the map north in a three-point domination game. So it's a tier 11 battle. I've spawned here on the right side, and I've made my way up here towards the sea camp. Now there are no submarines, there are no carriers, so that's pretty amazing. And basically I'm here in this position because I want to support the cap potentially. This can be rather strong. You can hydro like this channel here in case an enemy destroyer charges into it. You can potentially like farm right in front of you. Enemy cruisers that go there to, to raid there. And your secondary sort of cover the cap a bit. Of course if there are too many ships shooting you, you might have to flee. But you can always reverse behind that massive island behind you. In case you need to disengage. Now it looks like the enemy has pushed a Saarlouis in there, which we saw relatively late. It's a bit weird. Of course that means Viper can't go in there, there's also an Annapolis lurking. This map is very easy to raid, eh? so there is that. For some reason we had a battleship that pushed straight up into A at the beginning and, well, was destroyed. Who knew? <laughs> Who could have ever predicted that to be a bad idea? Meanwhile, it looks like I'm gonna eat the torpedo there. So we've established that there is one enemy destroyer there. So the Somers and the Ragnar are at A. That means the Yugumu is somewhere around here. Also, by the way, we can see a Musashi and we can see a lovely little cheek there. Let's see if we can get some cheeky shots in it. There we go. That's, that was a very lovely salve. More of that, please. <laughs> Although I think that Musashi is gonna reverse now. Uh, which makes a lot of sense. So, the enemy has C, but we have B. It could be a lot worse, I guess. A is currently being taken. Our ships at A are very far in the battle. Well, A lacks a bit of battleships. Unfortunately, We've lost the one battleship we had there, and most of our battleships are around here at sea. Now the Kremlin is hopefully going to deal with that Saint Louis without losing too much health. There we go. So that looks promising. Now what mostly stops me from pushing here too much is the fact that there is a Yugumo, and I really don't want to get hope. Now my Hydro is running out. I could contemplate a push once the next Hydro is ready, because I... I do believe that Yukomo will keep torpedoing me. Yeah, there it is, right. Now, Hydro... The thing about Hydro is, you can see the torpedoes, sure, but the Hanover is a massive target that doesn't turn so well. <laughs> so even with Hydro, it's going to be... interesting prospect. Now, we do have four ships here, roughly against four ships. Well, sort of, the enemy has five and we count the destroyer, and we have five if we count Viper. Now, it looks like Viper is trying to flank them, probably try to ambush the Isumo around here. I mean, with the Napolis going this way, Viper could actually come back here and cap C for us. The Annapolis, I would have expected the Annapolis honestly to, to stick around C. When it was seen a little bit earlier, it looked like it was trying to take position next to the camp, but the way this Napolis is sailing, the radar is actually not that big of a threat. So let's see, it also looks like the enemy is gonna try to push B. Then again, this might open A for our team. We'll see. Now, if I could get rid of the Annapolis, that would also be amazing. Now, here I'm moving forward again, the Kremlin is going in. Now, of course, I hope that Kremlin isn't going to go in full broadside. The poison here, I thought the poison was going in here with me. My Hydro isn't ready, but if that Poison would lead a charge with Hydro, I'd be more than willing to back it up. But see, here's the thing. I wanted to go forward here to support, but the Poison is already turning away. And the Kremlin is gonna come in here and eat a lot of fish. <laughs> so, oh, and there is the Yugumo. Well, briefly saw the Yugumo. So I wanted to go forward and be like, yeah, okay, let's push this. But the poison immediately turned away. The Kremlin got itself torped before the push even got started. So <laughs> uh, this is not ideal. Now Viper might be able to torp the Gisumo for us. 
would be rather helpful. I'm... Well, I'm hydroing again. Yeah, the Isumo is hopefully gonna go down here. The Annapolis is getting relatively low. The problem is there is still like a Musashi a sheaf in Annapolis and I'm, well I mean I'm a Hanova, I'm still relatively healthy I suppose. The question is what will my team do if I push, right? Like by myself I'm not gonna sink a sleeve in Annapolis and Musashi and a Yugo. But it is highly unlikely. The poison last time I tried to follow it in it immediately turned away. The Pindis is probably staying back and doing damage which is the Pindis should probably be doing. So I've got two fires on me. I could probably damage combat. I mean, I'm running uh, fire prevention. It's, okay, one fire has gone out. So now it's no longer worth damage conning. Oh, look at those shells. They they would have been nice if they hit. <laughs> they would have been extremely nice if they hit. So we've now lost all of the camps. That's a bit of a shame. I mean, our team at the A side has always been a little passive. I'm still contemplating if I could have been more aggressive at some point. But the problem remains that even though I'm relatively tanky, I can't go in blind against a destroyer that's backed up by this much firepower. And I mean, ship-wise, it's not looking even that bad. It's just that we lack the points. And uh, would you just sink an upper list, please? Now the enemy is pushing in towards B and I'm afraid Viper has been caught in a Hydro because there's a Hanova so close so it's possible that Viper is just pinned down for a bit and a Hanova Hydro is, is going to go on for a long time. Now this is some good news. The Yugomo is coming in here and I've spotted it with Hydro. Now I might need to slow down here again because yeah there are tops but that means i can dodge the yugumo tops and that leaves the that leaves the poison in a position to deal with the yugumo i mean it could be a reload boost yugumo i'm not sure if he's ever seen a smoke but that that poison is hopefully going to be able to deal with this right it saw the yugumo coming it can have its guns pointed the right way should have its secondaries going there. And now is definitely the point to push in. I mean, as I've said, I don't think I would have survived an earlier push. It's just that we're getting pretty desperate, points-wise. Okay, so it's not that I don't trust uh, that I don't trust that poison, but <laughs> better make sure this Yugomo sinks before it escapes. Now that poison can give its attention towards the sheaf while I go after the Musashi. Now the bad news is that I'm broadside to said sheaf. The good news is I think that sheaf is gonna focus the poison. Now Musashi, I can go through its nose. The good thing about the Hanova is that it does have some rather big guns. The bad news is they aren't awfully accurate. <laughs> okay, so, oh, our poison is so getting talked, isn't he? Now, when you are poisoned and you engage the Schlieffen, the last thing you want to do is charge it. It's, the Schlieffen has torpedoes and it has very good torpedo angles. So it's going to drop the crap out of you in that situation. What the poison would needed, would have needed to do is turn, especially once it saw the Schlieffen, it should have turned and joined me here. The torpedoes in the Schlieffen aren't particularly fast. So it would have probably worked. Well, Musashi has been dealt with. Oh, I'm terribly angled against that Schlieff. And there is a smoke screen in front of me that's probably the Brindisi. But that also has hopes. I don't have a Hydro ready right now. This is getting uh, problematic. I'm also currently using my last the heal, mind. Oh yeah, those are the hopes. So I'm on my last heal. And uh, the enemy is already at 810 points. This is getting pretty desperate. So I'm hoping that the Schlieffen comes around here broadside, which would give me a chance to do something about it. But honestly, it looks like there is suddenly a Brindisi appearing. It might be even more immediate of a problem. So your yeah, guns are turning towards the Brindisi. Well, now the Schlieffen reappears. Doesn't matter. The Brindisi takes priority right now. 
So let's see if we can get that. We can. <laughs> and there is a Kraken. Now Viper is coming in here with a smoke screen sorter, so I could try like you can't really hide the Hanova in the smoke screen if you use your main guns, but you can most definitely hide it if you use your secondary guns, right? And there you go, I'm undetected right now. Well, I briefly was undetected. I am now again. So I'm trying to not fire my guns here. Well, I can once the Schlieffen goes into cover anyway. Now somebody is detecting me that is not the Schlieffen. The enemy is only one ship ahead, but points-wise it's it's rather tragic. And there are Ragnar appears. Now the Ragnar is a fortunate gunboat. And I'm on very low health. Now I'm also hydro, which means I can't even try to hide in this smoke. I'm on fire and I'm basically just dead. <laughs> oh, I tried. Well, no. This is basically how this is. Where, where is the team? Well, there is no team, I suppose. So, you know, we can just speed it up the enemies at 950 points. And unsurprisingly, nothing else will happen this game. But we can see my ship just slowly sinking. Oh, well, you can't win them all. I guess at least I got some brawling done and uh, I basically I had a fun match sorta even though the, the defeat is, is a sour end note. But uh, you know, unleashed the Kraken, tanked quite a bit of damage, brawled, got some secondaries in. Of course I'm not sure if I should have pushed sooner. I don't think I would have survived it but then again we would have needed caps desperately early on. Maybe I could have tried something. But I think I would have just been wrecked. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it, and I'll see you next time.